Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday morning, and hope you have a blessed day today. In Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis has the wind beneath his wings. He currently holds a war chest of over a hundred million dollars, along with steady leads in the polls against left-wing challengers. Last year, Florida's number of registered Republican voters became higher than registered Democrats in the state. This happened amid thousands of people leaving blue states, moving to Florida for freedom. This marks a strong contrast from 2018 when DeSantis won his first race for Florida governor, despite the state having far more registered Democrat voters than Republican ones. This year, DeSantis is running for his second term in office. Multiple Democrats are in the race to oppose him. However, their campaigns are not coming along very well. Desperation for anti-DeSantis talking points. Republican turned Democrat Charlie Crist and Florida Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Fried, Fried, F -R -I -E -D, are the top two candidates vying for the state's Democratic nomination to face DeSantis in the general race. Unfortunately, things aren't going so nicely for either of them. Fried is 13 points below DeSantis in recent polls, and Christ also trails DeSantis. However, he apparently believes plagiarizing Fried's tweets will give him a leg up. Twice this week, Fried's put out tweets attacking DeSantis only for Christ to copy them into his own Twitter feed within a matter of hours. The former Republican copied Fried's tweet claiming that Florida is less free under DeSantis' leadership, along with her claim that DeSantis is prohibiting math textbooks. It's unclear why Christ apparently didn't expect people to notice what he was doing and called it out accordingly. The shoe-in for DeSantis. Between the Florida governor's war chest, his strong leads in the polls, and the Florida's GOP's voter registration advantage, all signs point to a second term for DeSantis. Much of what's driven Americans to move to Florida and other red states for that matter is escaping the left-wing leadership seen in blue states. Electing Fried or Christ into the governor's mansion would initially, essentially, turn Florida into California light or lit. It's L-I-T-E, California light. The elites, 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 whatever. The tweet being put out by Fried and later Christ also shows a disconnect from the positions many Florid Floridians hold. Under DeSantis' leadership, Florida has been heralded as a free state, notably one without the harsh mandates and restrictions in other states. This directly goes against Fried and later Christ, arguing that Florida somehow has less freedom with DeSantis in charge. Whichever Democrat ends up winning the nomination should prepare themselves for a loss in November. Oh my. Now I really like DeSantis. I really do. I don't know much about Fried, F-R-I-E-D. I don't know much about uh, that person. But uh, I do like DeSantis. I think he should be a nominated and he should be elected again. Or be elected again. I guess he's already nominated. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, here's number two coming up for you. U.S. weapons stockpiles dangerously depleted from Ukraine shipments. And it's got a picture here I'll put on the thumbnail. Defense experts now believe that the U.S. in sending billions in armaments to Ukraine has dangerously depleted its own stocks. They said this before. I read it before. What do they expect? Let alone our money being depleted. Now our protection is being depleted. Thank you, Biden. Biden. Whatever particularly if another conflict were to break out elsewhere in the world. With the rising Chinese threat, the U.S. needs to implement a quick increase in military readiness by replenishing its own stores 
analysts note, if production is not rapidly wrapped up, ramped up, this country's ability to respond to other threats is diminished. Well, of course it is. We won't have enough artillery, enough uh, machines to protect our country. Dan Caldwell, senior advisor to Concerned Veterans of America, said that this policy towards Ukraine is quickly shifting from what should be done for Ukraine to what can be done. Instead of sending all our money and all our uh, protection machineries and guns, Oh my goodness. He added the current depletion will take years to rebuild. Do we have years? And notes that we are making real trade-offs against another national security priorities. The U.S. has already committed $17.6 billion in security assistance to Ukraine since the Russian invasion in February. The Pentagon since August has reportedly removed $10.5 billion in armaments from domestic storage by presidential order. Thank you, Biden. They've got an, a video here that you all can watch if you want to go to the site. The fact sheet shows that over 1,400 stingers, more than 8,500 javelins, 38 high-mobility artillery rocket systems, eight national advanced service-to-air missile systems, have been withdrawn from stocks. Biden knows what he's doing, but he's being pushed by doing it. On top of that impressive total, thousands of electronic communications and surveillance systems have also been removed. Experts say that not since the Korean War has the nation stopped been so depleted. Mark Kansian, C-A-N-C-I-A-N, Kansian, senior, senior advisor for the Center of Strategic and International Studies revealed the supply of 155 millimeter howitzers and 155 millimeter ammunition is virtually empty. Kansian said funding is not the issue, but rather putting together contracts than actually production time. Contracts that should have been signed in May to replenish supplies are just now getting signatures. My God, it's almost Christmas. Thanksgiving. Senator Jim in Inhofe, Republican of Oklahoma, ranking member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, believes upgrading production is criti critical for countering China. Now Biden's put us Right where we could be wiped out, isn't he? Don't you all think the same thing? Other experts warn that increased aggressive actions from China, North Korea, have amplified the chances of a large conflict. They caution that the strain on both the U.S. military and economy would be vastly different against these foes than for the two decades in the Middle East. Biden has put us in a very, very bad situation here. We won't have any protection pretty soon. And like they said, it would take years to replenish the artillery stock, the machines. Oh, dear Lord, have mercy. I don't know. Well, I've only had 9 minutes and 22 seconds. But um, I'm going to take a break. I've got uh, my four-leggers here. I think it's time for them to go out. And it's time for me to um, take a break anyway here. So, But I will be back. And God bless you. And you are a blessing. Laters.